Na nikisema tumejipata na maanisha tumejipata kweli kweli haina kutia tia huruma msemo wangu. Satulia hapo hapo lipo na kama ambavyo nimekufahamisha kwamba leo mwamba tuko naye na mwamba huyu hapa tunapiga naye story kama kawaida kutokia Lagos Nigeria. Ushelewa eh Lagos Nigeria mbali sana magharibi mwa Afrika kuja mpaka mashariki mwa Afrika. Hii ni mega move na ninajua pia wenzetu tumekuwa tukizungumza sana kuhusiana na haya masuala kwa mtu ambaye anasikiliza radio kabla sijahama kwenda kuzungumza naye wenzetu wamekuwa wazuri sana kuja kufanya uh, promotion za kazi zao mashariki mwa Afrika tofauti na sisi tunavyokwenda kule kwao lakini pia hii huenda kuna siri ambayo iko nyuma ya haya matukio ambayo wao wamekuwa wakiyafanya kwa naamini kabisa tutafahamu vitu vingi sana ambavyo wao wanaamini kwa upande wetu huu ambacho pia naweza kujifunza kwa ajili ya kujua tunafanya nini ili kuweza kubadilishana haya masoko my brother what's up what's up man good afternoon yeah. yeah we we good we good we good yeah, let's go we good uh, you come a long way from from lagos nigeria yeah man uh, but i think it's just yesterday or it, the day before yesterday was in nairobi you was in nairobi yeah. so it's like you're you're doing a tour in east africa yeah man like uh, i get so much love on this side okay so for me like i'm getting ready to release like my first single of the year okay and i just want to show love back i'm starting the campaign in east africa nice so some of the songs that i've been playing and stuff like no one <coughs> else has heard it in any other parts of the world so we're starting in east africa this time nice yeah. nice now and, and now I, i see a lot of nigerian artists they promote their their, their song here in east africa mm. i don't know the secret behind but you can show uh, you, you can tell me anything about it yeah. i mean about your belief in, yeah. in, in this coast for me I, i go where the love is you know um, tanzania like people have always shown the world love okay so for me i'm just i'm just you know just following that path mm. you know it feels right being here the last time i was here i had a great time Um, I was well received and for me I'm just coming back because you know you guys took care of me so yep. I'm back again of course yeah. okay nice. are you just coming for tour or you have some other issues here um I'm I'm actually doing a show t- um, tomorrow night oh, okay. um the Jimmy Scene hangout um po- I'll be performing there tomorrow so you guys should definitely come out and see me it's going to be a great time okay yeah. okay. okay it's, it's shout out to straight up vibes yeah what are you about to say I was I wanted to say that uh, that it's it's honor for to have I mean to have you over here yeah. uh, but I have this little bit of question sure. you yeah. seems very quiet like you, you the last time you drop your song it's mm. almost seven or a year I mean a months ago mm. and you was quiet for a while mm. like what were you doing all that time mm. I wasn't quiet you know um I feel like just different sounds my last album yeah. was more of like a, a western um vibe mm. like fused with a, like some afro beats vibes and stuff cuz i used to live in atl so my last album had a lot of like my journey from atl to to lagos okay so some of the songs i feel like um there's a certain sound that travels to this region okay. right and people hear only a certain sound that fits the mm. demographic so that's really what it is okay so, yeah from what i remember uh six months ago yeah you introduce uh your new rebel yes yeah and yes. And, and after after two months later mm-hmm. you just posted another issues like mm-hmm. uh we didn't see any artists we didn't see mm-hmm. anything like is, mm-hmm. is the level still alive yeah absolutely it's called addictive content yeah um so for me um starting a label the, I, i look at it like the most important thing is the team okay before you can um I have a few producers under the label now that are amazing. I've been working with them quietly. I like to present stuff, not talk too much about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's a song, let's go. Okay. Right? So um I'm currently um um uh, working with some new artists and stuff. So for me, when you want to bring an artist into a label, you want to make sure that the team that you're bringing them into are solid. So for me, like I've been building a team of strong people around me okay. because it's very it's very important like I'm, I'm such I'm I'm a hands-on artist and I've been that way for so long. Mm. And I understand the value of protecting artists. And the only way you can really protect artists like me, I, I just feel for artists. You have to put them in a system that works with amazing people that you can trust them with. Okay. So it takes time. So I'm not rushing the process. Uh, okay. Okay. But but you already uh sign any artist in your in your label? Yeah, actually I, I have a few artists that I'm working with right now. Um I have producers first, you okay. know. Um I've been building a team of just, you know, managers and people around me and creatives around me so that when we bring the artist in there's a there's a there's a working system mm. it's because normally like it's easier for me to just say hey artist come come okay right okay but i want you to come into a system that's already structured that's good yeah. um what about um 
the people you're focusing at are you yeah. focusing on only Nigerian artists no 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 all no, over no, the no. world all over the world like t- to me I'm very open okay um even the last time I did an open verse challenge like I had artists from different parts okay. of the world just like I'm like it's so much talent in Africa it's mm. actually unbelievable yeah. so for me the vision behind the label is like what I've been able to do for myself and um the sounds I've been able to create I, I, I see a vision of being able to collaborate with new artists to do that. Even, you know, I know songs that I've written for like the videos, like, you know, Blow My Mind, yeah. Sweet in the Middle. I know how those records do, but imagine a world where like I'm actually working with a new artist. There's so many superstars. So for me, it's just really just my own little contribution to the culture in general. Okay. So it's not just about um, Nigerian artists or it's just, it's just great artists from Africa. Okay. Yeah. Any lucky in terms of here? You know what? Hey, I'm here. You guys should put me on. Okay. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's we, we, great. We have a lot yeah. of, of, of kids that uh, they have a, a really talent. Amazing. Yeah, of course, here in Tanzania. So if you oh. if you have a time, I can yeah. oh you guys can play some. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Just I, 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 yeah. I can share something with please, you. Then you please. you'll see how you can you, you can work with them. Absolutely. Uh, but but also, do you do you hear what Grammy was uh, was was po- was posted? About yeah. our, our music here in Africa, yeah, now yeah. they they recognize mm. almost the, the whole uh, continent in their mm. different kind of music, yeah. including bongo flavor, yeah. Niger music, mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And they create a category where African act they can go there and compete. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you my real true. Um, so for me, that's it. That's a, that's good progress. Okay, but that's not where we're going. Right, because I feel like I'm, I, I envision a, a, a space where we have African artists competing in different categories. Okay, not just amongst ourselves, because we are really truly amazing and we are the future. Mm. And I, you know, I know that in years to come, we're gonna have a space where you have um, a, an African artist from, for example, Tanzania, okay. competing on the on the hip hop category because he's just that good. Yeah. Not because he's just African. Mm-hmm. Not because he's, oh, you're a rapper, but you're African. Now you got to go compete with other African artists. No, your music is really hip-hop music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you create R&B music and it's up to that standard, right, you should be able to compete in the R&B category, not just African category because you're African-born. Because music is music. Yeah. And and I feel like African artists in different parts of the world do not just do Afro beats. Mm. Not ev- I don't even do Afro beats. I got you. My sound is a I fusion. So I understand the diversity and the sound that's coming out of Africa in different parts. Do you know what I'm saying? It, I think it's just not... It's not... Imagine an Ama piano sound, you mix an Ama piano sound in the same category with an Afrobeat sound. Yeah. In the same category with the sound from Tanz- Tanzania. Flavor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't, you. And you expect them to, okay, this is the best of it. it doesn't, the sonics don't even make sense. Mm. Yeah. But that's what they're going to do is just put everything together. Mm. One. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the reason why we don't have a lot of Grammy uh, awards here in Africa mm-hmm. because they, they just look themselves fr- first, then they... Yeah, I mean, it's just it's, it's all politics at the end of the day. Um, but it's good to see progress. Yeah. We are, as Africans are very, like, we are overachievers. That one, that one little step forward, oh, we're going we're gonna to make it 10 steps forward in a little bit. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I got you. So, so for me, it's like, it's good to see the progress. It just shows that the African culture is making, making um, you know, big strides. Mm. Uh, I, I know you have a very relationship with Davido. Yeah, very yeah. good relationship yeah, with Davido. Yeah, yeah. But uh, here, when we see at the Niger music scene, we mm. see like there is a very big beef between Davido and, and Banner Boy. Mm. But I, I need you to tell me the reality. What's really going on between them two guys? I really don't know. <laughs> True. I really don't know. I'm really in my own world. I'm just really focusing on my path and, and um, creating great music for the people that care about what I do. And, um, you know, I think... I'm sure they're both doing the same thing as well. Everybody's just really focused mm. on the music. I'm focused on the music. When it comes to that, because I don't know the personal conversation, so I can't speak on that. Nice. Okay, in nice. Tanzania, we have our own test of music, but a lot of people here say it's like, uh, Tanzania, we are kind of trying to cope the test from others mm. uh, countries' music, you know, mm. like Nigerians, um, mm. uh, South African, everywhere. Mm. I really want to hear from you. What, yeah. do you. what do you think about our music? 
so Tanzanian music. For me, like um, Diamond Platinum was one of my first um, introduction okay. to, to Tanzanian music. And I remember is that um, Tetema. That yeah. Record. It's beautiful. Actually, when I, the year that that record came out, it was one of my, it was actually maybe like my top two, at least top two favorite song out of Africa. Wow. That year, I forgot how many years ago that was. Mm. Even the video was just beautiful. It's like five years ago. It was one of those ago. songs that anytime it comes out, I'm like, yo, this song. God. It's beautiful. And that that was um, an authentic sound that came out of you. Yeah. So that's my introduction. Okay. Um, when it comes to music, we are all learning from each other. We're all taking from each other. Mm. Yeah. Nigerians, Nigerian music is taken from Mama Piano. Okay. Tanzanian music is taken from Mama Piano and taken from Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nigerians are taken from some of the melodies. I feel like we're all inspiring each other. And I think it should be that way because that's really what it is. Mm. Mm. If I do something that's great and you, and you like it and it inspires you to even be greater, we're helping each other grow. Okay. So that's how I look at it. Like, you okay. know, nice. That's I think great. You that's like, yeah, I, think, I just think like, um, you know, um, social media is just too toxic these days and it's more competition than re- than actual facts of what's really happening. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's clouding the real true progress that we're making and it's making it more of a competition yeah. more than how we're really, really inspiring each other. Nice. Because I know the value of some of the songs that I've done and how it inspires other artists and I know the value of some of the songs that I've heard. Kind of like I said at Tetema, like, which is beautiful. The yeah. video, and the, I remember it because like the, the big... Um, choreography and the water and all I'm like yo this is crazy yeah guess what I'm inspired okay yeah. do you know what I'm saying I, I got so you so it's it's and a lot of artists don't even come out and really talk about how inspired they are about other artists because they're scared of making it look you know looking small or something nah this is really what we're in so here in, in your op- uh, opinion you don't think that is good for African artists to compete themselves in, in that way yeah it's not just the artists it's the fans too you know yeah and a lot of times the, the, some, some artists sit in the back and push the fans to to go do it you yeah, know yeah but the reality of it is like we're making progress as Africans and if we don't collaborate and, and keep it together it's not it's not gonna get it, we're not gonna get where we need to get fast enough. Mm. And yeah. That's great. You mentioned Diamond. Uh, have you mm. ever thought of doing any collab with Tanzanian yeah, artist? Worked, yeah, we've worked together before, but you know, um, hopefully one of these days you guys get to hear it. Okay, Woo! okay. Yeah. that's exclusive. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I on my last trip when I was here, we actually we created something. Okay. Uh, yeah, last time I was here. Okay. Any other artist mm. from Tanzania? Uh, so for me, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. This trip, I'm keeping my ears and eyes open. Radio. Okay. Yeah. So that's okay. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, if you guys, you know, like, I'm, I'm still learning yeah. the culture. It's good to be here physically. True. You know, this is really how you would really appreciate each other's culture. You just mm. can't really see it from a distance. I only see what's popular mm. nice. when I'm not here. Nice. Yeah. We only see, like, the top, maybe the top three, four things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Tetema was so big, I remember it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um... Those are the things that we see on the outside. But when you come in, that's when you see everything else. Nice. Uh, and also, you, you, you're a good writer, too. So Thank you. So you, you, you write uh, uh, some song that became a global sound. Yeah. But is there any difficulties when you write uh, a track like what you do to the video in Chris Brown? Then it's mm-hmm. blow. How do you feel by yourself? Like, man, I write this and then my, my, my man is... You know what? It's, so for me, it's different. Um, when I used to live in um, the U.S., that's where I started. Mm. Um, I started doing songwriting. So as an African kid um, in Atlanta at the time, everything around me was R&B, hip hop, music. You have Akon. You have like um, you have Usher. You have like um, B.O.B. I started like the way people accepted me as an African at the time. This was way. This isn't before the whole African now, right? Yeah. Okay. The only African. Um, everybody cared about was Akon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm another African kid living in Atlanta. Nobody cared about another vision of another African. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Songwriting was the way of me getting around. Mm. Everybody needed songwriters, but they were not looking for another African kid. So I started writing songs for different people. I started writing songs for country artists. I was writing songs for hip hop artists. I met B.O.B. I started doing hooks for him. Okay. Working with Trinidad James. I was writing for Mario, R&B wow. artists. Wow. Um, that's how I started. So for me, um, I've already like lived the essence of being behind the scenes sometimes, right? So for me, coming to Africa um, and watching a song that I wrote become so big outside my own record, mm. the same year, Mad came out. So it's beautiful. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I, I, had, I had Mad at the same time, and I had um, Blew My Mind with DeVito and Chris Brown. I had Sweet in the Middle, that I, another song I wrote for DeVito. So for me, that's my little part of my contribution towards the culture. Because right. I can I can release every record. And if I have the skill to songwrite, why not share it, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, your fans, I've, I'm sorry, I dig you a little deep. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Uh, I, I, I saw kind of comments, mm -hmm. says like you're very quiet. And yeah. I remember last week you just posted uh, that song. What, uh, what what that song again? The last song about me, Piga, Baba. Go back and mention about my Trouble. Trouble. Yes. Yeah. The last song you posted, and yes. you say, like, you guys, are you ready for another one? Like, yes. the fans were like, oh man, where were you? Like, we are listening to your music and you're just quiet. Yeah. Tell Do us you know about it. So, for example, right, um, quiet is good. Mm -hmm. um, for me, 2019, I dropped um, Love is Contagious that had the song Show You Off in it. Same 2019, where I blew my mind. Soon 2019, we had the whole project, I Love Girls in Trouble. 2020 pandemic, Afro Soul. Mm. From the song, Why You That You Play. Yeah. Mm. Fast forward, I had a whole album, 19 songs, last year. Yeah. Okay. Right? So for me, it was important for me to just like, okay, reset. What's the next phase? Okay. Mm. We've done the first round. The reality of it is like, some of my m best music is actually just now coming out. Mm. And we're going to start soon. I have a new song featuring Sars coming. Yeah. We're meeting, we come together, we have a Love Girls of Trouble 2 coming. Okay. Trouble 2? Yeah, Trouble okay. 2 coming. Um, I have a new album coming Woo. this year. Woo. Uh, I'm working on a dance album as well. I have like I have music to last next 10 years coming. <laughs> but in order for me to do that, I had to reset. Yeah, and for real. People think about music like this. Um, a lot of the music, for example, when we released our Love Girls of Trouble, most of the songs we released in 2019, mm. most of the songs were created in 2017. Ooh. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like a movie. So You're I released a project long. last year. Okay. It's a disservice for me to just come back and just start releasing music again. I wanted to experience things. Mm. I wanted to, to feel things again. Yeah. So when I'm sharing new music and new conversations, it feels authentic at the same time. In order for you to create music, you have to live it. Mm. If not, you only just create blah, 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 just for people to just, you want to be famous real quick? Let me do this. Let's do this real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. I, I don't create trendy music. Yeah. If you, you played about like four or five songs of mine, none of those songs sound the same. Yeah. And it's not easy doing that. True It's that. easy to follow trend. You're like, oh, this is hot right now. Let's do this, right? This is hot right now. That's not the type of artist that I am. Mm. So for me, um, I needed time to create like a whole. Thing. My yes, brother. Sir. This is, yes, this is sir. very, very huge. Thank you. Big up to you. Thank you. Mm. That's the first you. time, like, you know, when you you said like I've been quiet. No, I've been creating. Yeah, and, and this is the meaning of quiet. Exactly. <laughs> like it, it's it's <laughs> we you know it. we we had to like go back in the studio and figure out okay what's the next thing. I got you. How do we how do we bring something new that yeah. still people can enjoy at the same time. That this is it takes work. It really yeah. takes it takes cool. a lot of getting a little bit outside everything, owning, sitting, trying new things. Nice. You can't you know, magic is not you don't do it overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it happens overnight. Yeah. But when you're intentional about the art and really wanna just push things forward, it takes it takes time. True. Yeah, and, and now I understand when you say it that your all song uh, they they have different tests. Exactly. Location is very different from mud. Exactly. But it's banging. Thank I can you. feel it. Thank you. Okay, you told me, uh, I mean, you told us about the album. You told us about the new music coming <laughs> this year. Yeah, yeah. You speak a lot about everything in Tanzania and over the, ca uh, the countries. I just want to know this thing which uh, make you feel that way. Like, you're kind of unique. You, you get yeah. this in inspiration. You inspired on your own. Like, yeah. you've been quiet and then you come to drop another thing which yeah. is very banging yeah. i Thank just want you. to know that the, the, the thing that that's unique the uniqueness you have in you yeah. what do you have like what do, don't don't us know about you like yeah. we only know what yeah. we know he's a, a songwriter we know he's a musician yeah. but what don't like what don't we know about you that's a lot of things you don't know about that's what we want to know. <laughs> even even Tell three us. things anything Tell you, us, know, my you know you know like um for me um, where do I start? Music, music is something that found me. Okay, I, I didn't make it. I, I was not like okay. I want to do music because I want to be famous. I want to do. For me, it's just like this is what I breathe. Right. Okay. I'm a student okay. of this thing. I and 
be- beyond music, uh, I I love family. I love people. Yeah. Um. I um. I know how it feels to sit somewhere when I was just growing up. When I used to just listen to some great great musicians that would just. You know the feeling of how you hear a song that sounds different from everything else, but it inspires you so much. I, I uh-huh. get you. I get you. You like what is this I'm listening to? Yeah. Right. It sound like uh, it sound it sound amazing. I grew up, yeah, most of the people that I looked up to made me feel that way. Okay. Right. So when it comes to music, that's what I, you know, well, that's what drives me. Okay. To 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 make somebody else feel that way, like oh. So for me, every time I'm creating something, either music, is it fashion, or music videos, mm-hmm. or just me personally, my default is not to do trendy things. Okay. You know, so we only live we only live once, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's so true. What, what kind of artist do you uh, classi- classify as yourself? What kind of artist? Who? As far as what? When when you when you look at him, you're like, uh, this is me. Yeah. Maybe he inspired you and something like that. Musically. Um, from Kanye West to Kanye. Coldplay, okay, um, to Fela Kuti, yeah, Fela, yeah, um, of course, yeah. The range of music that I listen to is so wide, okay. but I, I lived, I lived in um, Lagos before I moved to America, mm. so I had a little balance of both. Okay, so it makes it easy for me to understand what's going on, right? Thank, so that you, helps thank, a lot. thank you for your time, my brother. I uh, hope next time it will be better than this. <laughs> uh, and, and DJ DJ Msabato, he is asking for complimentary. Perfect. Perfect. The manager, where's the ma- who, who the manager? Manager, manager, where are you? We need you here. Who who the manager? So that's the manager. Are you the manager? They asking about complimentary. About, 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 of course, about, about the show tomorrow. The show tomorrow. You guys are welcome. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Okay. Definitely. Just get the contact before we leave and everything. I mean, you guys are already communi- connected, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's, communi- he's communicated with our producer. Okay. So, so he you guys are family. Let's bring the same energy tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Of course. It's going to okay. be late. No it's going to be. Any, anything you want to tell your fans in Tanzania? Because we, I know Tanzania, there's a lot of fans of US. They don't know you yet, but yeah. they know your music. Yeah. So anything you want to share with and this it's not only for Tanzania, all over yeah. the world. I'm just I'm, I'm happy to be here. Okay. Um, just connecting more. It's beyond music, you know. Like I just appreciate the support. I feel it every, even from miles and miles away. I'm happy to be here, close. Nice. You know nice. what I'm saying? It's I different. Got you. I got it's you. Different. I got like, you. Yeah, it feels good to be here. Ebane kazi yake yapo na kuda kuiskiliza tena na ito